One of the best known features of Jupiter is the great red spot. It's been there for hundreds of years. It's a big storm, a vast hurricane on Jupiter. And when the Voyager spacecraft got a look at that, it noticed you get complicated, turbulent vortices spinning off. What we see on Jupiter is turbulence. Big vortices, smaller vortices, very small vortices, and if we could look closely, it's smaller and smaller and smaller ones. That's an example of chaos, but it's chaotic geometry. Any geometrical object with that structure is called a fractal. So fractals are the geometry of chaos. They're unlike all the usual things you get in geometry. You take something like a circle. If I've got a circle and I make it bigger and bigger and bigger, look more closely at it, it just gets flatter and flatter and flatter. Nothing interesting there. If I start with a sphere and make it bigger and bigger, it just seems flatter and flatter like a plane. This is why a lot of people thought the Earth was flat in ancient times. Fractals are different. When you magnify them, you see more and more and more structure. And yet, that very intricate geometry can be created by very simple mathematical rules. And the next demonstration is going to show us an example of a fractal pattern created by simple mathematical rules. OK, now I need some assistance for doing this as well. Um, young man there. OK, and your name is? Richard. OK, Richard. Now, what we've got here for you, that's it, you might as well stand there, is a whole pile of stuff. There's a triangle marked one, two, three, a pile of red dots, a three-sided die. It looks like an ordinary die, but it's got a one on that side, and it's also got a one on the opposite side. And the same for the two and the three. So you hold that for a minute. Whatever you throw with that is either a one, a two, or a three. And you've also got a ruler. So what we do is we start by putting a dot somewhere in the triangle. I'll put it in the middle. Now roll that. It's a two. I want you to find the point halfway between that dot and corner two. I'll pop it in there if you tell me where to put it. That's it. Let's have a measure. OK, what's that? 11. OK, so about there. <coughs> and now do it again. 3. OK, that's over there. So halfway between your new dot and 3. About there. OK. And that's right, we can put that one back. And once more. 1. Halfway between your new dot and one. Right, and that would be? 16. OK, that's great. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> so there's some simple mathematical rules. Roll the die, start from wherever you are, and go halfway towards the corner that the die has given you, and just repeat. The question is, what shape would you expect to see? Well, the most likely thing you'd expect to see is just a sort of smeary mess in the middle of the triangle. But let me show you what happens if you do it thousands and thousands of times. Again, we'll use the computer and we'll see exactly what pattern builds up. OK, we start with random looking dots, nothing very interesting, just sitting in the triangle. But now we'll just speed it up a little bit, keep going, and you'll start to see very, very beautiful, surprising mathematical pattern appearing here. This is called the Sierpinski gasket. Gasket, all of you car mechanics will know, a gasket is a thing you take out of your car and it's full of holes of different sizes. Sierpinski, Vaslav Sierpinski was a Polish mathematician who invented this shape for totally different reasons. It's got big holes in the middle and then in the pieces around there smaller holes and smaller holes and smaller holes and smaller holes and mathematically those holes go on forever. And that's typical of fractals. Simple rules create structure on all scales, even the finest. 